U.S. exchanges were closed on Good Friday, while Street finished the holiday shortage week sharply higher, with the major stock indexes recovering about half of their losses caused by fears about the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The S&P 500 advanced by 1.4 percent to close at 2,789.82 on Thursday. The index act out at 12.1 percent rise for the week, marking its best weekly gain since 1974. Apparently, investors shrugged off the 6.6 .6 million jobless claims report and a wild ride in the energy sector to focus on the Fed's announcement of a new effort to protect the economy and financial markets from the impact of the coronavirus shutdowns. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell also said the US economy is strong enough to be robust once the coronavirus pandemic is passed. High unemployment can be temporary, he said. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 285.80 points, or 1.2%, to close at 23,719.37. For the week, the Dow notched a 12.6% gain. On Thursday, the US Federal Reserve announced details of its new Main Street lending program, pledging to will provide $600 billion support for mid size businesses and $500 billion for states, countries and cities. Fed assistance uh, trumped deepening job losses, helping bolster the buying mood on Wall Street. Meanwhile, the Nasdaq Composite rose by 0.7% on Thursday to end at uh, 8,153.58. For the week, it looked at 10.5% gain. However, some analysts are skeptical of the recent uh, bullishness in the market, suggesting that stocks have recovered too fast and seem likely to retest lows. In particular, stocks Amazon.com Inc. continues its bullish trend. On Thursday, the e-commerce and cloud giants stock ticked down by 0.01% to close at 2042.76. For the past week, it posted a 7.1% rise. This week, Amazon.com shares rallied 6.2% after the company said it was hiring 75,000 more employers in addition to the 100,000 it already hired to help meet increased demand. Investors are anticipating a busy week with many companies to report first quarter earnings, which are expected to be this small because of the coronavirus crisis. Most strategists believe the market may have a hit bottom in March. Here is what uh, we might expect to hear from corporations when they begin reporting. We've highlighted some sectors. The energy sector is likely to see the largest year-over-year -year declines in earnings, more than 50%. Output cuts by Saudi Arabia and Russia will not enough to offset a collapse in global demand for oil. Lower prices will be of no benefit to refiners. A massive pullback in capital spending is expected. Many companies will reduce or eliminate dividends. Among users shall producers a wave of smaller company bankruptcies expected. The industrial sector was weak even before the coronavirus. Aerospace and defense were especially hit hard. In the technology sector, consumer demand is quite low. Smartphone, computer sales are likely to decline, but gaming sales remain strong. Semiconductor sales are likely to decline, however, cloud investment is likely to remain strong. For media companies, there is more viewing, but advertising is challenged, and many are still facing continuing loss of subscribers, but broadband is still growing. The healthcare and consumer staples sector should hold up better than others and are more likely to have positive earnings surprises. On Friday, China is scheduled to release its first quarter GDP figures that will 
will reveal how badly the coronavirus crisis damages the world's second largest economy. Many economists are predicting the country's first contraction in decades. So, you are watching the US stock market on InstaForex TV channel, prepared for you by our TV team and me, Kate Stichina. I wish you profitable deals and see you!